Welcome to Quick Hands, everybody, episode 38. With me and Georgia here, but we've got Nico who's zooming in over from where are you from? Like it, Croydon? He's a Concord boy. Concord, there you go. We've got Nico all the way from Concord, our fearless leader who our is uh, leader. recovering. ACL, ACL. How four you, to six. How are you going there, Nico? No, I'm, uh, I'm getting better, mate. I'm struggling a little bit, but. <laughs> It's glad to have you back, mate, looks, uh, even though it's uh, from far, but I'm glad to have you back he, um, and looking forward to you running the show next week again. I, I saw him last week. It looks much, 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 much <laughs> better than last week when I saw him. <laughs> yeah. So, all righty, boys. So, another another round gone. What do you think, boys? Anything stand out this week so far? Rain. The rain? <laughs> rain everywhere. <laughs> water. <laughs> water. Water, water. water great water. equaliser. There you go. A great equaliser. Nico, anything stand out for you this round? Oh, yeah, it's got their first win. <laughs> you know, you know, you know so what? True. Nico just said that, and um, uh, it's not about Penrith losing. It's about um, uh, thing wins. It's about Tigers uh, winning. Mm-hmm. Um, what a relief! And you know what? I'm a Penrith sort of supporter. What a relief! <laughs> Honestly, what a relief! <laughs> what a relief! Yeah, you wouldn't. You didn't think that was going to be their first win, did you? Like no one would have picked, not against expected Penrith. that. No, no way. Against, maybe against Bulldogs, That's but it. not against Penrith. Yeah, unbelievable. It was great. Yeah. Well, round nine finished off, and I'll just quickly run through the scores. Um, so on Thursday night we had the Sharks smashing the store, the, the Cowboys forty four to six. On Friday we started with Parramatta winning forty three to twelve against the Knights. The Broncos down 6-32 to 32 to the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Uh, the Canberra Raiders then on Saturday, uh, emotional day for them. Canberra won 31-30 to 30 with a golden point. Uh, the Gold Coast, 26 over Manly, 10. Tigers, as Nico mentioned, 12-8 over the Panthers. And then on Sunday, we had the Roosters, 14. The Warriors, nil. And the Bulldogs are depleted, beating the Dragons, 18-16. So into the first game, Sharks and North Queensland. Uh, George, what's your thoughts on that one? Um, Cowboys uh, keep on disappointing. Um, they were even more disappointing uh, uh, on the Friday Thursday night. Uh, the Sharks, they're just getting better. Nico's just getting better. Um, and he just makes everybody around him uh, better. Um, uh, Cowboys got a problem. Nico? What's your Sharks look good. Sharks look good. The Cowboys super disappointing. I know they've got a high injury toll and everything, but this is not the team that we saw last season. Absolutely not. That's for sure. Uh, Nickel, would you have uh, Hines in the uh, number six for the blue for the Blues? Yeah, everyone's arguing about whether it should be Hines or Lou. I, I'd have him in at number seven. To be honest, <laughs> not a, you know what, and I know why what, what he's getting to, and he's not wrong. Yeah, he's not wrong. I understand, and I'll explain it later well, in the hot topics. Why everyone right? else is starting to say it now? He needs to own the series. Uh, yeah. He hasn't yet. Last chance. I'd have Hines at fourteen. Um, yeah. Yeah. Tried, yeah. It's funny how people say it's between Luai Hines and and Cleary, but no one mentions Mitchell Moses. Why wouldn't he get a a, a chance to make it into the New South Wales team? Because then that's seven. Because well, everybody's I'm got, everybody's sure he can play at, at six too. Well, he played all these years at the Tigers at six. Yeah, exactly. and and he so plays exactly. But he went to Parramatta. And he exactly. plays exactly the same as um. He plays exactly the same as uh, Nico. The money in half. He's a running in half. So True. Uh, no so, difference. No difference. I don't know, man. It's just weird. Uh, the next game after that was Parramatta forty-three Knights twelve. Nico, what's your thoughts on that one, mate? Pretty, pretty good win. Oh, look, I thought, I mean, I thought Parramatta were good, but I thought Newcastle made it easy. I yeah. mean, they, they dropped the ball in the second or third tackle of the game and they just went downhill from there. So they were diabolical. Um, I think they played Parramatta into a bit of form that night. Yeah. Um, I'm with Nico. Yeah. Um, you know what? Parramatta came out with intent and um, they just didn't let, they didn't let um, Newcastle get any momentum. Uh, Parramatta were on the front foot all the game. Um, that looks sensational. And um, uh, Toilet Boy cannot be in the front line. <laughs> he missed uh, he missed so many tackles and they he spotted he, him up. He wasn't alone. Like they were all. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But um, 
Uh, yeah, yeah, they were all, they, they weren't good. They weren't good. Was it 40? The score was 43 to 12, yeah. yeah. When you look at their last three, four games, um, close, tight losses, draws, you know, wins, I don't think anyone expected that. No, no, no. No, I, I thought it would be a, a tight, a tight victory to Parramatta, but Gutho had different, different ideas. Mm. Gutho just was off the rocker that, that night. Yeah. So yeah, they, I said it was good. It was good that they won. It was yeah. good that the Parramatta won. And Parramatta are looking for strike players apparently. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. They got Gutho. I thought Gutho did pretty well. <laughs> anyway, uh, following that game, we had the Broncos six, South thirty two. Um, pretty good result there for South Sydney. Uh, Broncos missing two key men. Haas and Ezra Mann, but South can only play what's in front of them. Uh, That's, um... I was really disappointed with the um, the Broncos here because the the first probably twenty minutes, half an hour of the game was really close. Yeah, and and they looked on top, and and then they just fell away. The Rabbitohs just went on with it. They were really good. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, Payne Haas is a massive uh, loss because not what he does and what he does, but he makes everybody else around him better. Um, Probably he still wouldn't have done enough to um for the, the Broncos to win. Um, the Rabbitohs are a very mature, experienced rugby league team, and they showed it. They hung in and and they got their way. Um, it was good. It was a good, it was the first half was really good, as Nico said. First first half was really good, but um as as the time went on, uh, Carrigan went off, and that's when things fell apart. But um, uh, I'm not saying that Broncos are not going to get that maturity, but at the moment uh, they're a bit off in terms of uh, well, to, uh, maturity. They're all young men still, yeah. and uh, Souths are uh, seasoned campaigners. They are absolutely. They definitely did miss Haas. Haas, I thought, yeah. was a huge loss. But yep, South still played, produced some good footy. Uh, on Saturday we had the Canberra Raiders beating the Dolphins 31-30. Went to the Golden Point there. Uh, Fogarty kicking a winning field goal. Um, what's your thoughts on that one, guys? Me? Uh, okay. Um, Canberra played really well the first half. Uh, and for some reason, they came out and they played like Canberra does sometimes. Um, and uh, you got to beat the, doll- the Finns up. you got to beat the Finns. Uh, and the Finns came back. I don't think they were ever a genuine chance of winning. I think Canberra was going to always win that game. But they did drop off, uh, and an emotional victory it was. We saw Ricky, we saw uh, Jack. Um, he meant a lot to him this game. So, um, you know what? The most important part here is that Canberra needed two points, and um, the Finns did what the Finns do: hang in, hang in, hang in, and sometimes win. Nico, what's your thoughts? Mate? I was really impressed by the fact that that was. I think it was 16 or 18 points behind again, and they, they clawed their way back again. They're just that team that won't go away. I think George is right. Canberra never really looked like losing, but the Dolphins, they keep impressing me every week. Yeah. And and I think, um, uh, I th- I'm not sure who asked the question, but they are uh, early in the year, we got the question about the, the center who kicks goals. Um, uh, what's his name? The, old, the, the older guy, the old bloke. Canberra, yeah. Oh, Croker, Croker. I think um, he answered his own question. He should be in the team. Yeah, absolutely. I think Con did Con uh, ask that question. Yeah, yeah. Con, he should be in the team. <laughs> yes, <laughs> off the boot. Yeah, <laughs> just off the boot. Yeah, he's having a good year so far. He's yeah. he's, got, he's playing with purpose. He's really enjoying his season. He's looking really good. I think it's his last year too. Yeah. Yeah. Following that game, we had Manly 10, the Gold Coast Titans 26. Good win by the Titans uh, over at Brookie. Um, good win, good win. Um, Manly perplexed me. I don't understand what's happening out, uh, out there. I don't know what the professor's doing. One week they play well, the other week they play like they played uh, this last weekend. Uh, don't know what's happening. Don't know what's happening. I don't trust them. Uh, but but uh, the Titans... When they're good, they're good. And when Fafita's good, he's good. Um, and he was good. They were good. And they deserved the, the victory. Uh, and um, I actually can't believe the score because I, I never saw that coming. But um, I think it says more about Manly than um, the coast. Yeah. What about you, Nicole? What do you think of that one? 
Yeah, I mean, it was a good performance by the Gold Coast. I wouldn't be too concerned if I was a Manly fan. I, I know, obviously, they're missing Schuster for whatever reasons we'll touch on later. Um, but I think what we saw there, it's symptomatic of a new coach, new club. You're going to have good weeks, bad weeks. They're still finding their way through. So a bit disappointing, the fact that it was at Brookvale um, and probably a bit surprising. Um, but it's kind of what I expect from Manly, a bit of hot and cold at the moment. I actually tipped the Titans. I actually thought the Titans would win. Um, How? I just think they're not as bad as people think. I, I think they're a better team than Manly. Well, not their forwards, team. Tino. Um, I, I just like their forward pack. I think they're really good, and their back line is is playing. They're a hot and cold team. They can score a lot of points. Yeah, they've got no problem with that. Yeah. Um, so I reckon put them up against a top eight side, they might struggle, mm-hmm. but against the bottom eight sides, I, I reckon they've got a very good chance of beating them. And I think Manly's the bottom eight side, to be honest. So. That's, really? that's why I tipped them. I was, I was quite confident of that. I don't know what it is. Okay. I've I got think more I think faith in the Titans. And, and I, I think know. they're a top eight team, Manly. At the end of the day, they'll be in the Do top you? eight. Yeah. Well, they'll be in the no, top no. eight. Manly, uh, Tommy will come back. He'll sort everything yeah, out. Yeah, hopefully, mate. Hopefully. Uh, they haven't been too convincing, even with their victories. But anyway, we'll see him when it comes at the end of the season. After that, we had the biggest upset of the year. We had the West Tigers finally winning their game, uh, eight points to 12. Yay. Against uh, the Panthers at Carrington Park at Bathurst, which I think Panthers lost to Cronulla a couple of years ago. That's a hoodoo ground. Uh, I think they don't have good luck there often, but what's your thoughts on that? It was pissing down too the whole, yeah, the the right. whole time. So Yeah, the weather was terrible. Uh, yeah. and, and basically West handled the weather better than uh, Penrith. You know what? Every time Penrith loses, it's in the wet. So maybe there's, there's, <laughs> there's something to that. I don't know. But um, you know what? Uh, Brooks, Brooks is back. Brooks is back, baby. <laughs> Brooks is back, baby. Yeah, cracker. Yeah, cracker. <laughs> He's back. Two forty twenty. One led to a try. Um, and you know what? It just ma- after the game when he when he ended, it just makes you feel good inside that yeah. the that um the that West won a won a game. So I'm not going to say too much about it. But all the stats say that West uh, were 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 on top, and they were not going to worry about Penrith. Um, and I hope they back it up. I hope West back it up. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Nico, what's your thoughts, mate? I, um, I think the night belongs to the Tigers. And uh, I think unfairly, which we tend to see quite often in situations like this, people feel like more on Penrith having an off night or whatever. And I don't think that's what it was. The Tigers, they did everything right. They they played in their faces. They were, they were in their faces all night. They handled the wet weather, as George said, much better than the Panthers did. They won all the little, all the one percenters, all the stats. Like George said, they just they defended like hell, um, and they really deserved to. They really grinded that one, that one out. The win it wasn't easy, um, and especially toward the end. But they got they held on and they deserved it. They did. Brooks, Brooks had a great game. He did. Yeah, Brooks had a great game, and and um, Appy uh, came back to haunt his old team. He 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 tried so hard. It was yeah. so it was so yeah. good. It was you know what? It was unfolding on television, and you think that at the end of the game, Penrith would do something crazy, something's going to happen, drop ball, and they're just going to sneak through. And it did happen, but Nathan dropped the ball over the uh, over the line, and I, that's when I knew that West are going to win. And that's so good. And and can I just say something? I saw my father on Sunday and he had a smile on his face. <laughs> Nico, he had a smile on his face. That's so good. He goes, I take a win, huh? I told you, wow, beautiful win, beautiful, huh? Another one. So good on him, Dad. He was, he was wrapped. So he good. couldn't get up. He couldn't stand up. But he, he was happy that he, uh, they won. Yeah. I listened to radio, beautiful, number <laughs> one. So I loved it. It was good. He was happy. And Brooks have a good game against a Penrith side. If it was against a, a, a weaker side, they would have said, oh, it was only them. But against a Penrith side, that's pretty good. You, you know that's what? Good he did what he had to do. Yeah. That's what he had to do. Kick and kick along and chase. Good on him. That was fantastic. And then after that, uh, on Sunday, we had the 2 o'clock game. The Roosters, 14, keeping the Warriors scoreless. Zero. Didn't watch it. Short so turnaround you, you time. You film in. Didn't watch it. Um, <laughs> It was really, really heavy, heavy rain. It was very heavy. Uh, that's my bludger, I think. Yeah. That's your bludger? Was it that bad? There was it was a lot of mistakes, a lot of drop ball, but it was torrential rain. But yeah, Warriors are used to that, man. They that that's their ground. It's so the roosters was need it, to hang on. Was it worse than the Tigers game in terms of rain? Oh yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, yeah, it was pretty bad. Fuck. Yeah, it was bad. Okay, then after that, we had Spoon Bowl. We had the Dragons 16 losing to the Dogs 18 up at Wollongong. They did us with Dragons fans proud. The Dragons, well done with you. <laughs> well, they had a winger with one leg, the Bulldogs, and we still didn't go outside. Anyway, very good. Uh, uh, Nicole, what do you think of that, mate? Oh, no. Yeah, they showed a lot of enthusiasm. Um, they, Sorrell, they pulled the fast one. He started with Reynolds at six for about 20 or 30 minutes, then he brought the youngster in to take over at five eight. And I thought he did really well. Looks like they might have their half combo settled. <laughs> um, St. George, on the other hand, they were really, really poor. They were just, um, they just couldn't, their attack just, Ben Hunt had a really bad day and. And the attack just didn't was predictable. Just didn't seem to have anything to it, really. Yeah. Um, but then, you know, compared to the performance they put in a week before, um, pretty disappointing from the Dragons. But uh, full credit to the Bulldogs because the Bulldogs made a hell of a lot of mistakes too. Um, they bought two tries. Yeah, yeah, they did. Um, but they but they didn't stop fighting. They mm. they deserved to scrape home and, and win it. I thought. Yeah, they showed more desire, more fight. I'm with Nick. Um, uh, St. George uh, lost it. I don't know if, um, if Bulldogs won it. I guess on the score they did. Uh, we had the one-legged winger. Uh, they bombed two tries. They should have been more in front. Who's that? The Bulldogs at the start. So you can't say Dragons lost it. You know what? It was an interesting game. It was an intriguing game. We watched it together. It was an intriguing game. It was a bizarre game. It was so bizarre. Uh, all the incidents that happened. Um uh, the the center Emma Emma Reto, whatever his name Emma is Reddy. Emma, Emma Reddy, Reddy yeah. yeah scores two tries two. Emma, no no the other one the the guy who scored two tries oh the guy that scored two tries uh of course I can't even think of his name anyway yeah. uh, we're waiting 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 for him to Avarillo. Avarillo. <laughs> waiting for him to to show something he scores two tries um he showed up Sloan showed up Sloan because uh, and, and Nick's right um, Hunt did have an ordinary uh, ordinary day um, I don't know what to make out of, make out of this game you know what Canterbury held in grit and grime and character uh, depleted a team so we'll leave it at there St George have got some some problems you know what I actually wish the West beat them this week <laughs> and you know why it will settle the coaching thing it will just they'll, they'll make a move they're going to have to make a move Hopefully. Yeah, because they look like a team in waiting. Yeah. I'm waiting for for a coach or I'm waiting for something. You know what I mean? Because the cattle's there. Yeah, yeah. The cattle's there. There's definitely something. It's happening. annoying. Yeah. But sure. it is what it is. Yeah. I think he definitely won't be there. That's for sure. So we'll find out sooner rather than later, I think. Okay. Uh, that was the games for this week. Now, a bit of, bit of a difference now with a shootout. Instead of looking at the week that just passed, we're going to go uh, look at the whole nine games that just passed. And I want you guys to give me what your favourite team is or who you reckon is the best team so far going into the comp. True. Who's been the most impressive to you guys? I'm a Bunnies man. You're a Bunnies? I'm sticking with the Broncos. You don't know they lost. You're going with the Broncos? I agree with Nico. I'm going with the Broncos. Broncos? Too. Yeah, look, they lost uh, to South with a couple of guys out, so... I'm not going to give up on them. I think they're going to be. I think they're going to be good side. Uh, they're they're going to really good. They're very good. Yeah. They're very. I thought, they're just I, thought, I thought the way the way South played. Uh, what was a Friday night? Yeah, yeah. I thought so. they probably would have beat Brisbane regardless, even if they had those players in. Yeah. Might have been, but I just think overall, I'm, I'm, I think Brisbane's been the best side so far. Yeah, I agree. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Primitive, yeah, either or. But I'm a South man. I don't know. Who's been your best player so far this year? Me, Nico Hines. It's Nico Hines? Um, Payne Haas. Payne Haas? I'm a Payne Haas man. You know, I'm going to go out there. I'm going to say um, Ezra Man. Ezra Man? <laughs> Ezra Man? I just like him. He's just like a little nippy guy. Oh, I just like him. He's been good. The best player, Ezra Man. I just love him. I <laughs> We got Heinz here, and we got <laughs> and we got Payne Hus. He's not even a man. I like him. He's my favourite now. Okay. He's a little favourite of mine. Yeah, player, he's good. Good. best player. I don't know. That's my opinion, man. <laughs> uh, what's been the best game so far? Oh, yeah, nine oh, rounds, eight man. rounds so far. Penrith South. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you, Nicole. 
there. Yeah, Pen of South, yeah, it's got to be. As in quality all the way through. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah, yeah exciting. It was. Grind first. It was. Yeah. Both teams are just going hammer isn't, and tong. Isn't it funny? We've seen some more exciting games than that, but we all agree that that was the best game of 80, best rugby league 80 minutes, you know what I mean? Isn't it, isn't it amazing? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we've seen some, uh, you know, um, last minute victories, some uh, golden point games. Yeah. But in terms of rugby league, rugby league, that's the that's the best game. It's, it's fun. It's interesting. Anyway, I, we all agree. That's We all agree. The only other game that stood out the bit, bit to me was when the Warriors beat the Sharks. I thought that was very impressive because I did not see that coming oh, yeah. from a Warriors team. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they, the comeback. Know, yeah. Sharks had a pretty good lead, and for the Warriors of, of old, they would never have done that. And it was just a really good game to watch. No way. Have you had any, any surprises this year so far? Anything that surprised you this year? Warriors. <laughs> the Dolphins. There you go. Oh, yeah. The Dolphins. The Dolphins. And the Warriors. I, I, I put them down for dead last. I had yeah. yeah. I never expected them to do it. Enough, even in their losses. Yeah. Oh, well, I thought, yeah, I had, I had them for the spoon. Mm. I had them for the spoon. Um, yeah. Actually, I'm going to change Dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins. Dolphins, yeah. Dolphins, yeah. I, I'm going to go with what you said, the Warriors. I, I didn't think they were going to be my... I didn't know about this Webster hook. Who? Exactly. What's the hook? Dolphins had Bennett and a few good players, so I thought that'd go all right. I didn't have them as a spoon, but the Warriors I had actually had as a spoon possible. Oh. Yeah, oh, I didn't know Webster who. I thought they'd be exactly. bottom four. He's done but... a remarkable job, man. He's, he's been fantastic. He's the best. Uh, I'll make you, the eight. I'll make the eight too. Hopefully. What do you like so far about this year? Oh, quality. The, 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 quality. the games, the, the quality of footy we've seen has been really, really good. Yeah, there has been some good quality. But every, good. every game has got something to offer me. Even blowouts, there's something to offer. But most games, 80% of the games, they're golden point games, they're, they're four point victories. Um, and then you look up in the stands and they're full. And you had a stat that, yeah. that it's uh 50% more than last year, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, the stands are full, the ratings are up, the rugby league is fantastic. And four weeks or three weeks, there's origin, or four weeks, there's yeah. origin. So, usually, as teams start uh, dropping off, but they haven't dropped off yet, no, absolutely. Yeah. Totally agree with you guys. It's been the quality and the fans, uh, the amount of people going. It's it's been really good. Yeah. Um, what do you like so far? What 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 are you liking about this year than other years? We just said basically we just answered that, didn't we? With yeah. Quality. Yeah, you asked that before. Yeah. Uh, sort of. That's that's similar. It's also. What's, yeah. There you go. We've got to see him live. Yeah. We've got to, I don't know if they come to Sydney. They've got to see him live. What about hate? What do you hate about this year? Oh, it's got to be something. That's yeah. What was that? The referee? Yeah, the yeah. the, the yeah. sin games, the, the six again, the reset restarts, the hip drops, all that crap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm over. I'm so over the referees. I'm so over uh, the NRL trying to officiate things from, from um, Phillip Street not knowing what really happens in the game. I'm so over uh, a guy sitting in front of a television in Phillips Street trying to make decisions uh, for the guy in the middle. Um, I'm so over if your your finger touches someone's hair, apparently it's a, it's a head high and you're off for, for 10 minutes. Um, it's, you know, what I've been trying to... Um, uh, you know, not say it, but it is ruining the game. I think Nico brought it up uh, weeks ago, months ago, that sin beans and this and that is affecting the game. And I'm trying to have faith in the NRL, but he's right. He's absolutely right. He's absolutely right. It's destroying things. I think it's the – personally, I just think it's the bunker. Not the, the referees are actually doing an okay job on the field. It's the bunker that's going in the ear and, and changing the decision. There's been a lot of times that the referees just played it on and then they've – gone back and heard something and then they've suspended the sing in the guy or something. So I think the referees are doing what they can, but there's also been a lot of more milking than, than other years. A lot of players yeah, but, diving. But the, the milking is, is uh, brought on from the decisions of the NRL. If you can milk no. and you can get away with it, milk. But if you don't, they move on, well, you're not going to milk. Yeah, but the referee can see clear as day that the guy's milked it. 
but the bunker from up there can't see it. All he sees is the guy on the ground, and then he sees his slow motion replays, and then he'll say, "Okay, there was connection. It's ten. It goes in the air and done." So I, I think there's the milking is what gets the bunker's attention, which then leads to the referee making that that call. Yeah. Well, so that's yeah, my call anyway. Back back to the referees. It's anyway. been terrible. Yeah. Back, back to the bunker. Yeah. Same thing. So the, same thing. All righty. So that was our quick fire. Um, our next segment is the power ranking. So, so far, who we think are the top eight sides of the year so far or for this round. Um, I'll just go through our power ranking. So, in number one spot, me and Nico had Broncos and you had the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Yeah. It's typical me. Yeah. It's typical me. And, and in second spot, me and Nico had South and you had the Broncos. So, yeah. there you go. We both agree. We all agree that the top two the top teams two. in the competition top are South two. and the Broncos. Uh, the next one, third, we had the Sharks. Me and George had the Sharks. Nico had Penrith, hmm. which is a fair, good call. And for fourth, uh, we both had Roosters. Nico had the Sharks. Uh, for fifth spot, we had Panthers uh, on fifth for me, Warriors for George, and the Storm for Nick. So we all went different for fifth spot, which was interesting. I should have had the Storm. You didn't have them you didn't, have, yeah, you didn't even have them. <sighs> Still in me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Then we had uh, Warriors for me, Panthers for yourself, and the Roosters for Nico. And then we finished it off with the Storm for me, Dolphins, and the Seagulls for, for you, mate. That's how we I, did, I can't believe I didn't have Melbourne. Yeah. There's, there's an oversight. There you go. And I got what? I had uh, Mil- uh, Manly and then sort of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. All righty. So there's, uh, that wraps up the week, basically, that we just had. And now we're going to go on to some hot topics, guys. First topic of the, of the evening is the Schuster training fight that we found out about uh, that happened today. Uh, Christy Fulton came out with a statement saying that, uh, in quotes, he needs to grow up. Too many enablers and excuse makers around him. It's always everyone else's fault. What are your thoughts on that, boys? Boy, yeah. when when your captain comes out and um, you know uh, says things like um, says things like DC said about being overweight and and going back to Reggie's and, and and learning and this and that, you know, there's something wrong. I don't know. I, I don't know. You know what? He was a good kid, and he's a good kid. He's a very good kid. He's on eight hundred thousand dollars, I think. Schuster. Yeah, he's on eight hundred k. So maybe he's reading his own press. Um, you know, life's short, rugby league's short, NRL short. So I hope he, I hope the professor uh, pulls him in line because he's a special human being, special human being. So let's hope he pulls it together. I want to watch him. I want to see him play. Yeah, I wouldn't write too much. You know, you know, he's been dropped to work on a few things, whether it's his weight or fitness or I read it was his fitness, whatever. Um, these dust ups they happen quite often. Training, we just don't hear about him a lot, you know. I don't think there's too much in it. Yeah, is he is he injured or is it is it a form thing? I don't know. Um, I'm not I, sure. I read it's hard to work on his fitness. Okay, okay. Not injured. Well, not injured. Okay, so that's interesting. I thought it was. I thought it was injured. So uh, let's hope he, in the next fortnight or so he comes back, um, because uh, you know what, Manly needs him. The rugby league needs him. I want to watch him. He was good. Was the first round he killed someone. He's, he's uh, no-look passes, and mm. he's a big boy. And to be a 5'8", uh, to defend against him might be, must be scary. So, yeah, let's get him. Hopefully, he sorts things out and he gets back on the field. It's unusual, eh, his body type to be a 5'8". He's probably Very the biggest 5'8 I've seen. Very unusual. Going around. But he's I'll, got good hands, so. Good hands, and he, he's probably quick. But what we saw from the first round, and you know what? When he, he made a, uh, his debut years ago, a couple of years ago, and he absolutely Rained them, I remember. I'm thinking he was he was a bit thinner then. I'm thinking this kid is special. He is special. He is very good, but get his mind in the right place. And I'm sure the professor will do that. I'm sure the professor will do that. Yeah. What's your thoughts on the professor so far? Is it, do you think he's doing a good job at Manly? I think, yeah. I mean, you know, but what, what, what are we, two months in? I think he's doing well. I mean, they're certainly, certainly a lot better than their, their last two months of last season. Like yeah, any uh, coach takes time, takes time, you know. But I think it's pretty clear from the start of the season that he's he has the players on side. So that's the hardest part. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick, Nick Cole's right. Uh, jury's out. They're in, they're in the eight. They're in the four, I think. So, yeah, he's doing okay. He's doing right. Sixth at the moment. Sixth, yeah. So, he's doing okay then, basically. They didn't play that well uh, last week. But you know what? Like Nicholas said, new coach. Probably they'll play well this week, not play well the other week, and play well the other week. And then until the end of the year, and they got it on on song. Remember, you don't win the comp uh, on April. You win it on May. You win it uh, September. So True. Not the carol. So, go, Professor. What's your thoughts on on uh, Trebojevic? Uh, you think he'll play this week? Is he, is he named? I don't know. We well, don't know. It's Monday, so we'll find out tomorrow. Do you think he he will play? And if he's fit, play. If he's not fit, don't play. Yeah. Do you I, you I think, think there's, there's something more wrong. It? Yeah, I do. Yeah. I think the I think I think uh, Manly's been telling us some fibs. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's what I think. I think there's something not right there, but we'll see. Need him back. Need him back because in a month where's Origin? Need him back. I um, I can't, I can't in any way, shape, or form have him my Origin team. No, no chance at all. Forget about his name. Forget about who he is. Um, we know he's not a hundred percent physically. That's obvious. He's not a hundred percent right. We know he's not a hundred percent right mentally. Whether it's confidence because of his injuries or whatever, his form is pedestrian at best. If his name wasn't Turbo. Uh, especially, especially playing in a position he hasn't played yet this year, because he'll be picked for centre if he is. Mm. I could not have him in the Origin team, not with players like Stephen Crichton or um, Campbell Graham. Uh, I just could not have him in my Origin side. I know that wasn't the question, but no, no, that right, is the question. Yeah, that true. is the question. And you know what? I hope they take heed, and I hope they listen, because um, if they put him in not confident or not fit, uh, Queensland will rip him apart. So, and I don't want to see him being ripped apart. Yeah. Um, so I hope either he, he gets confidence, uh, fixes his injuries or gets form. Or like I said, Campbell Graham can play in the centre. There's no issue. We've got plenty of centres. For his own sake, I think he should choose not to play for Origin. If he, like even stand down for the season just to get his body right. I wouldn't even want to be in that arena, especially maybe with all the injury problems. Maybe it's his brain. He's missed so many games for Manly. He owes Manly some games, man. He, you know, you can't be yeah, paying him that much money so he can play a couple of games. It's just, I'd feel guilty if I was him. I don't know. That's that's my opinion. I just don't think it's right on on his club. You know what? It might not be his. Um, it might not be his body. It might be his brain because they've changed everything. They've changed his running style. They've changed everything. So I mean, they reinvented He's him. For a lot. He's for a lot. Yeah, yeah, they reinvented him. So you know what? Uh, class is is uh, is born. Um, form is temporary. Yeah. So the guys, the kids are special. So. Yeah, he'll he'll be there. He'll be okay. Yeah, hope so. The other topic, which I'm sure you guys would have seen on the weekend, was Ricky's emotional press conference. Um, what's your takes on that? Uh, that showed yeah, a lot of because he loves uh, Ricky's uh, presses. <laughs> he loves Ricky's presses. He knew, he's got him piled up for years. Of, he's got piled uh, Ricky's, and he watches them as as movies. And when he's born, he watches them as movies. <laughs> I'm okay with Jack leaving. I don't have a problem with it. Then he said, I am pissed off with his leaving. <laughs> um, start crying, really? I mean, get the hell on with it. Yeah, players changing clubs. Like, seriously, get on with it. A 30-year-old player is changing clubs. Yeah. That's it. Get, get on with it. We don't need the drama and the bullshit. Seriously, get on with it. And if you think about it, it's as simple as that. A 30-year-old player, and yeah, he's a, an important colleague in that team, um, but a 30-year-old player is changing club for either a change of scenery, wants to play with his mates, or a better chance of making a grand final. Yeah, yeah. yeah better chance of making a, a grand final. One or all of them. Okay. Now, for Ricky to be dirty, he's getting less money. For Ricky to be dirty, it, it seems petty, doesn't mm. it? You know what I mean? Uh, but look, he's lucky that Ricky's a type of guy who doesn't hold grudges. So um, Rick, Ricky's forgetting that after ten or eleven seasons, he changed clubs too. Uh, there you go. True. There you go. He yeah. went to. He came to the Dogs uh, for a few years. Um, so there you go too. And you know what? Jack just wants to win a comp. He's thirty years old. He's done everything else. He's given everything to that team. Everything. Different circumstances though. Was Ricky Stewart 
Did he leave for the money though? Because I no. think there was salary cap, wasn't there? I think he was pushed out. He was pushed, pushed out, out, eh? He, he didn't. He would have stayed if he could have, but he just got was pushed he, out. I'm I sure thought he, it was money. I'm sure he could have, but he probably wasn't prepared to accept whatever they were offering him at the time. Mm. It was Bradley Clyde pushed out. He couldn't have. Sure. They went together. They went together. They went together. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So um, something happened. There was a long time ago. But you know what? Ricky should think about that something happened like similar to him as well. So to be to, to go through all this all this emotion and this and that, it, people move clubs every year. Mm. So you know, yeah, uh, you know, a bit overblown. But look, that's Ricky. Huh? That's why we oh, love Ricky. Yeah. There's a few things. There's a few things that we're not doing sometimes. I mean, we still have Jack White and Brady out on the field. It's obvious why he broke down. He's taken a huge pay cut. Um, <laughs> yeah, we saw we saw a sticky in the change room. It looked like he'd been clocked on the forehead. That was probably the chat. I'm guessing you don't see the band aid on his head. Yeah. Who knows what's happening behind closed doors? Yeah, I think I think um I think Nick was right. I think that club, um, a lot of things happen behind closed yeah. doors that we don't know. Um, a lot of things, uh, and not not only that club, but especially. Especially that club. There's a lot of things that happen. They're, yeah. it's a, they're an interesting it, club. It always sucks for a club, for a player, for a coach, for the fans, whatever, when that happens. Have we seen a club where it hasn't happened? It happens oh, all the time. Right. Get on with it. We, we don't need the days of our life part of it. Just get on with it. You know. Well, Paramount have lost a whole back row and and um, Papa Licky and and um, and the hooker. So. What are they going to say? Imagine if Ricky was in, in charge of Parramatta. He would have been nicking himself. Clean yeah. yeah. issues will be there. <laughs> the other one, mate, is uh, NRL. Is is this the toughest game? And why are they trying to sanitise it? What's the reason for that's it? A, that's, a, that's one of my questions. I won't lie. Nico, that's one of my questions. And you know what? Um, you guys know how much I love rugby league. and um, Nico, Nico talks about the 80s, and I was watching some clips, actually. I was watching some clips, West, West and uh, Manly at Lidcombe Oval. Um, and I've got to admit, I was enjoying it, Nico. I was enjoying it. It was a few, it was a few all in brawls, yeah. even before the, 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 um, the start of the game. You know, when they warm it up, I started brawling then. Um, uh, going back to that, today's day, day and age, okay, we say that we're the the hardest, toughest rugby uh, game in the, in the world, you know, tougher than, than uh, NFL, tougher than this, tougher than that. I'll question that. They want to sanitize it. But what they're doing is they're ripping out all the DNA of the game, the fabric of what rugby league is. Okay. So what are we, what are we watching? Now, they've sanitized it pretty much now. Let's say to the positive. I disagree. Let's say to the positive, they're sanitized it. Okay. But they, they keep on going. They, they keep on going. So what are we going to end up? What are we going to end up watching? Okay. You, you can't, when the kicker, you can't, the kicker are protected now. Don't even bother. Don't even bother going and, and putting pressure on them. Because even if you're sim- sim- simultaneous, when they kick it, you're hitting them. Okay. You're going to get 10 minutes. Okay. So don't even bother. Don't bother go, going that. Um, try to run through the line. Because if you, if you, uh, move someone's hair, okay? It's going to be a shepherd or whatever, whatever they call it, okay? Um, if if they're falling down and your fingernail touches somebody's head, that's ten minutes. Um, so what are we what are we watching? What are we what are they doing to us? What are they thinking? Again, Phillip Street, uh, you know, a few guys in Phillip Street uh, trying to run a game who who've never played the game and and don't understand what we want to watch. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's what I see. How much more can we water it down? The question is. Mm. What have we been complaining about for the last two years? Yeah, yeah, I, I see it. You know what? And you know why I see it, Nicola? Because it's getting worse. If it if it stabilised, okay. And you know what? This year's for some reason worse than last year. I think it's getting worse. And I'm watching the games, and and some of the things I see about you know when they get sent off for ten, and I'm thinking, why, what, when, how. You know what I mean? So just getting worse. So, mm. so if they're going to keep on, on, on this pathway, again, in five years, what are, we, what are we watching? Think about five years ago, what we're watching, and think about what we're watching now. So how much more? Let's play tag. 
Let's play tag. This all started when Greg, Greg Inglis put the shoulder onto Dean Young, who's half his height. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Ever since yeah. then, shoulder charges are out, everything's changed. That was a bad hit, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 he was twice his height. Yeah, but even yeah. if it was a bad hit, you know, mm. we're gonna ban, yeah. we're gonna ban the tackle. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, and more shoulder charges. Mm. Someone gets hit in the head. Okay, we can't tackle above the waist anymore. Yeah, yeah. If you look at all of Sonny Bill Williams as the highlights when it was growing, when he started off, a lot of them were shoulder charges. Yeah, great hits from yeah. shoulder charges. Oh, you can't oh, tackle below the waist either anymore. So I don't know what. Yeah. Because you get injured, yeah. Oh, look, I, hip drop, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. What's a hip drop? I don't know what hip no drop one is. is. No one. We know what hip drop is, but um, you know they send they send people uh, off for hip drops or ten minutes off. They take it to the the committee, the review committee, there, and they get they get let off. So I don't know. It's it's very confusing for a fan. Very confusing. Very confusing. The union guy came out on the weekend and said, um, "Rugby league toughest game." Uh, that's that's a load of crap. He goes, I've seen more um, struggle in an arm wrestle than I've seen their scrums. Was <laughs> criticising our scrums compared to Union. Watch one of our scrums. Well, they, well, they, they, still, they still have real scrums. They, they do. do have real yeah. scrums. So he thought he'd get on the back of that too. This guy might as well chip in while they're they down. They do have real scrums. <laughs> but that's the only good thing they do have, the real scrums. Yeah. <laughs> One topic that came up on the weekend as well was the draft system and Abdo was quick to shut it down and his reason was pathetic. It was basically um, some clubs can produce juniors, others can't. That's why we can't have a draft. Now, I find that absolutely ridiculous. Um, so the clubs that can produce are punished, basically. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Um, just to protect the clubs that can't produce. So why don't they just make all clubs produce juniors? You know, just go out and look at other nurseries, you know, throw money into country. Rugby league teams. Uh, I don't get it. What, what's your thoughts on that, guys? I saw I saw Abdo on Channel Nine, the sports program, and they asked him about the the draft because the draft has has uh, raised its ugly head again. And he, that's what he said. Um, you know what? A draft is 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 the only answer. And because look, Jack Wyden went to South Sydney. No problem. I, 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 I got no issue there. It doesn't feel right, does it? I mean, if it was a draft, he would have had to go to to um, uh, the Tigers for now, or he could have stayed to this at, at, at Canberra. So that was his option. Okay, so you got more chance of of keeping him uh, keeping a long term player there. Now, if he's happy, he could go go to a draft or get traded. You know what I mean? But you know what? It's like Premier League. How many teams can win the Premier League? Three. Well, how many teams can win the NRL? Three? So I don't see any difference. You know what I mean? I was fired up and Nico got beamed in and I was uh, going off my head and I've calmed down since then, <laughs> Nicola. Um, but you know what? I'm a fan of a draft. Um, I think it will solve a lot of issues. Um, uh, you can have an external draft for the youngsters. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm all drafted out, personally. I'm all drafted out. <laughs> It works in the NFL, AFL, the NBL, so NBA, sorry. So, you know, if it works in those codes. I've always been dead set against the draft. I hate it for one simple reason. One simple reason. If I'm a player, I've got a wife that works in the city and two young kids in school and someone's telling me which city we're going to move to in three months. That's their argument. No. And that's that's their argument. That's their yeah. argument, yeah. I, no. I, see, I see that. I, see, I, I get that. I don't know. Look, you know what? I'm going to stop uh, going on about drafts because it's obviously not. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They they said it's not going to happen. Um, he said it's not going to happen. Uh, so um, I'm going to go off it. But I think I, I think he, I think it'll even not it make the lower teams a bit easier to to, to get a higher. If you if you if you got a cap, you need a draft. That's that's, that's what I think. We had it in the late '80s, early '90s. I think it was didn't we for a short time. We had until a draft Terry for Hill, until once, Terry Hill challenged it. Yeah, one year, and then Terry Hill challenged it. And look, I can't even remember what happened then. I, I have, n I, I can't have no well, recollection at all. Sure. Yeah, I don't know what who got bored. I don't know what happened. I do know that Terry Hill um, uh, went to East and stayed at East. He was supposed to go somewhere else. And Manly, Manly, okay. 
and he challenged it and it was overturned and that's when it's it was deemed illegal uh and it is illegal it's a restriction of trade but you know what all around the world maybe it doesn't work in the end well i mean i mean george imagine your your wife has a job yeah your kids have their lives or whatever and all of a sudden someone's telling you you have to move to new zealand yeah, and that's their argument. That's the player's argument. And I get that. And, and that's why I'm, I'm backing off now. That's why I'm backing off. And you got to do it in a few months. Yeah. Can you do it, yeah. You'll do it January or, for, or, or December, yeah. yeah. Can you have salary cap and draft or you just have one or the other? No, no, salary cap and draft. So salary cap goes together with the draft. All right. So obviously, if you're going to have a salary cap uh, and a draft with a salary cap, salary cap would be less. No, no. What would, would it be? 10 million. It'll be the same. There's no difference with the salary but cap. You, you're gonna, so you, so you're still gonna be having to shed your players. I thought the draft, the whole purpose of the draft, is the club gets first opportunity to keep the player, no yeah. matter what, and then after that, if they can't, then he goes in the thing. So the so, the, the the real idea of the draft is uh, West, who's coming the bottom three teams, West, Canterbury, and I don't know Saints. Mm. Okay, they they three have got the first options. For t- uh, players coming down, so the idea is to get everybody, everybody closer together. That's the idea. So that so Jack went to Souths to a really good team. Well, Jack would have to go to to the Tigers or the mm. Bulldogs. So that's, that's the that's the idea in theory. And he works overseas, but teams it might get, not work here. It might not work here. I don't know. Teams get twelve million dollars if they get a player from the draft and they've got to relocate them. Surely they can use part of that money to help pay the costs of rent for 12 months oh. so they don't lose properties and stuff they can still oh. keep what they've got they just I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think them. that's the issue because it's only for three years two three years and they can go back and yeah but continue. i don't think that the issue the, nico nico said that imagine them telling you you have to go to new zealand mm. or newcastle or the dolphins so you'll you'll go you go to a zoe that we're going we're going to to uh morton bay in uh in, in september well, if I'm getting 400k, she's getting 60k. Well, she's gonna say, you know what? Um, I can do that. Yeah, no, what? Well, I, I can't see them saying no. If they're gonna get that much money, well, they're they not don't gonna like mind it. where they go. They so don't have to work anymore. They're they gonna, be, they're like gonna work. They're gonna have. I, I don't. I don't get it. It's, to me, it doesn't make sense. I don't know. They don't like it. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna not happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Yeah, doesn't like it. And not gonna happen. That's it. Not gonna happen. Done deal. Not Done gonna happen. happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I want, about, it, I want it to happen, but not going to happen. One thing I want to bring up: Did you guys see that footage of nothing to do with rugby league, but the soccer referee that got uh, that got belted? Uh, what's your thoughts on that? That was pretty, pretty disgraceful. I wish I was, there on, the the huh? I wish I was there on the sideline. That's my thoughts. Oh uh, God, that's that was. Um, been too broken, George. Jeez, it's it's terrible news, isn't it? Uh, watching, the watching, it watching it made me sick. Yeah. Um, Someone needed to grab that guy in the building, but no one did. You know what? Watching it made me sick. I didn't know what I was watching. Um, uh, when I first saw it on the news, I thought it was in England. I yeah, thought it was yeah. England. I didn't think it was in Sydney. Mm. Um, you know what? These are growing men. They're, they're, they're 45-year-old men. Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth it, man. I, I don't know what kind of call the, the referee gave him. The offside, whatever, but it's not worth yeah, making. He, he wasn't a player; he was a suspended player on the sideline. Suspended player on the sideline. Then what, what? What did he have any part of the game? He didn't have no part of the game. No, it's part of the team, but not part of the game. So what did he get upset for? Uh, some decision. Oh, he just didn't like. Yeah, look, if it gets even worse. I have no idea uh, why he did it, and you know what? We're growing men. You know, I I get it if you're under twenty five, maybe there's excuses, but. Over 30, there's no reason. Anyway. It's a tough gig being a referee. It is. It's a really, really tough job. And to get treated like that, it's it's just poor. And you're going to get people turned off it. And we don't have referees in the game. We're not going to have the sport anymore. <laughs> not right. people going to be. It's just wrong. It's they won't wrong. be playing because, you know, you don't like going to play soccer and there's no referees allocated and you've got to get to play a, a, a normal per- person from the sideline to refer the game. It kills it. But, you know. You arrested, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. I hope, he, I hope he gets in big trouble. I it's, really do. It's awful, man. It's I, hope he gets, I hope he gets arrested. Yeah, me too, mate. Absolutely. All right. All right, guys. So what we'll do now is let's go through the round that's coming up. Do it. Let's do it, huh? 
So we kick off the round on it's magic round this week. All games are played in Queensland. This is, this is my second favorite round. Yeah. I love magic round. Everybody's in uh, Brisbane. It's buzzing. You come through the uh, television screen. Um, it's great. And guess what? We're going to lose the first game by looks of it. <laughs> the first game starts with uh, the Bulldogs and the Raiders. Oh, no. Uh, what's your tips on that one, boys? We've got no lineups. It's Monday night, so we don't know who's in the net. I'll go first. It's easy. Raiders going to win and win well. The Raiders, uh, you'd think, think so. win that game. I think Jason Carras is due to back to the Bulldogs, and that's a big end if he is. Who? Who's in? Carras. Is he in? It's Dewey. It's Dewey. I don't know if it will be names or not. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, that's a big, that's, that's a big a good one. Hand. That's a big one. Because uh, the winger, that guy, the one-legged winger got injured. The one-legged injured. winger got injured. Yeah. So, um, but I can't see anything but a, a, a Canberra Raiders victory. I think that might have been. The young, the young fullback for the Raiders, Savage, he's due back as well. We got a oh, wow. Well. Ooh. He's got a couple yeah. of loose and reserve grades, so he could be an inclusion as well. All right. right. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Even better. <laughs> Even better. Yeah, they're looking good. Canberra to win and win well. <laughs> and that's a Bulldogs home game. So not that it makes a difference. So you're going the Raiders. The Bulldog man is going Raiders. What about you, um, Nicole? I'll go the Raiders. You go the Raiders? Yeah, I think we'll do a 3P. I'll, I'll go the Raiders as well, mate. Um, I think so. Absolutely. After that, we've got... Um, Manly up against their home game against the Broncos. So they did a Parramatta. They played their home ground in the Queensland Territory against the Queensland team in, Queen, in their home ground. Um, considering the occasion and where it is and what happened last week. Hmm. Uh, Turbo is due back for Manly, but but um, his brother's out. So Let's Jake out. Jake? Apparently he's, gonna, he's out, yeah. So one in one. Oh, wow. That's a big one. Jeez. All righty. So. I, I know one thing. Um, Payne Haas is back. Yes. So there's not a question for me who's going to win this one. Broncos will win and, and win well. You think it's a sure bet, this one, hey? It's a sure bet. Is um, Corey Oates back as well? Who? Huh? Corey Oates. Uh, I'm not sure about Oates, what but know, definitely um, definitely uh, Payne Haas is back. Coates yeah. probably yeah. is back. <laughs> Probably is back. How long has it been? Has it been a month? Been six weeks? Yeah, it has been a bit. Yeah. So even worse, mm. it would be a bigger victory. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, no. After that is a pretty good game, actually, on the on the Saturday afternoon. We've got the Warriors up against the Panthers. Could be a cracker. Could be, that might be the game of the round. It will be the game. And you're going to be on oh, no. I see Penrith not, not winning this one. No. They'll be pretty upset about what happened the other night. Yeah. They're, they're going to be upset. They're going to be angry and they're going to want redemption. But it doesn't deter from the fact that something's not clicking right. And um, they're going to have to beat the Warriors because the Warriors are a damn good team. Mm. They've lost a few in the, in the row now. Um, with no confidence, I'm going uh, Penrith, but um, hey, you got to beat the Warriors. They're not going to roll over. They're going to beat the Warriors. What's interesting about this is Webster, who is coming up against Cleary. Oh, yeah. And Webster knows the Panthers, uh, everything about the Panthers. Yeah. So he's going to have some good um, knowledge. Uh, They'll be up for it. They'll be definitely up for it. They'll be up for it. I wouldn't be surprised if there is an upset, to be honest, in this one. If West, <laughs> if West can beat Panthers, what What's to say the Warriors can't? And they're playing a lot better football. So they are, they are. Pen, Penrith's off. Penrith's a little bit off. Is Fisher Harris still out? Fisher Harris, I think, is still out. One more week. One more week. Jeez. Okay. Um, I'll I'll stick. I'll go Penrith only because they lost to West. But she is due back. Is due back. The fish is back. The fish is back. Okay. Oh, that back. changes. That yeah. changes. Yeah. That changes everything. Then. So, yeah. Well, we're all going Penrith anyway. Yeah. All right. Game after that is the Battle of the Two Fish. You've got the Sharks and the Dolphins. <laughs> oh, fins up. Fins up. Both fins. fins up. Oh, wow. Oh, no. That's uh, that's going to be a good game too. I'm going to enjoy this one, but um, the Sharks will win. and The Sharks will win, win and win well. 
Yeah. The Dolphins are good. They're going to hang in. They're going to try hard. But um, um, Nico will just um, take over and, and uh, get through more daily end points. That's what I think, anyway. Yeah, I think they'll get the Sharks. I'm tipping the Sharks. Yeah. In their recent form. But the Dolphins, they won't make it easy. No, no definitely. They won't they'll go away. Go to the wire, for sure. They won't go away. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm agreeing with that. I think the Sharks will get this one. Uh, the battle at the top there, we've got the Storm up against the Rabbitohs. That should be a, a cracker of a game. Oh, oh I can't wait for What's your one. tip on that one, boys? Well, Melbourne have all rested. They had a bye last week. Oh, yeah. Mm. Good um, point. You can go um, to Melbourne. Melbourne tend to be pretty strong in Brisbane and they're heavily supported as well. That's true. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my guns and and go the rabbits, but um, it's it's gonna be a, a one point victory if anything. I mean Nelson so Nelson has suffered Solomon or whatever. He had a whale of a game last week and he makes a big difference. Mm. Um, so um, storms a storm will be right there. But I'm a bunnies man this year for some reason and uh, go the bunnies. Is the Kolo Matangi guy playing or is he still out? I think he's, he's out, isn't he? Still out? Yeah, he's out. Yeah, just, just came through with no uh, injuries or anything, so they'll probably mend the same too. So the same as last week, yeah? Mm. Yeah, so. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to go south, actually, because I think they've just been pretty good. They, they were good last week. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to stick with south, mate. I think they'll be good. Uh, on Sunday, we've got the 150 kickoff between the two heavyweights, the Tigers and the Dragons. Oh, Tigers the, are specials. Here's something. Tigers are going to win, and they're going to get off the bottom. Okay. And guess who's on, on the bottom if Tigers win? Dragon. The Dragons. No, Cowboys. They're oh, Cowboys. Against it. Oh, okay. Well, that's if Cowboys don't win. But, uh, yeah, so the spoon bowl. Mate, this is literally a spoon go, bowl. Go, go Brooks. Go Brooksy. <laughs> He Go always, Brooksy. He always has a blinder against Saints, you know. Does he? Yeah. Go Brooksy. I'm a Brooksy man. Go the Tigers. Can't believe I said that. Not one to tip. I mean, can the Tigers back that up two weeks in a row? We haven't seen it yet. Mm. Um, and whereas the Dragons, one week on, one week off, they tend to perform well and not. So it's a really tough game to tip this one. Yeah. I'll probably I'll, the... I'll lean on the Dragons, but yeah, it's a tough one. One thing I do know, even watching last week, Dragons are very physical, Nicola. They're very physical. Yeah. But I, I didn't think St. George were good against the Roosters. 20 minutes they played good, but 60 minutes they were awful. The Roosters scored the softest of tries. Um, so I, I'm not sold on the Dragons at all. So I'm, I'm definitely tipping the Tigers. And they're going to win comfortably. <laughs> <laughs> not only just I'm, I'm tipping them to win comfortably oh, no. um, they're going to be up for it they're, they're going to be so fired up because of that Penrith win um, they're going to be I hope know, so. they're going to I lift hope so. I they, hope so. they will lift I hope so yeah for sure they've got an opportunity to get it from the bottom eight uh, bottom to, of the of the ladder here so I hope of course so. they're going to do something so yeah Tigers for me okay. alright then we've got uh, a couple of good games after that we've got the Roosters and the Cowboys not going to be a good game. The, <laughs> the Cowboys are disappointing. They've been disappointing. They are disappointing. They've lost their major, unless they can get it back in a week. Lost and, a lot of players too. Their back row, a lot of their forwards are gone. Well, Nanai's gone now, yeah? Nanai's gone. Nanai's gone. Lolo's gone. Neen's gone. Well, um, even, even more. has gone. Even more, even more uh, so that the Roosters will just uh, tune up their, their attack against the, the Cowboys so they can keep on powering on. I don't know. The Roosters won't bring the Smith because they only went to hospital with a neck injury. But oh, even, really? yeah, but um, I think he's been cleared of anything serious, but they might choose to rest him. I don't know. But even without him, I still can't see the Roosters not, not winning this game. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm sorry, uh, only Egyptian supporter, Cowboys supporter in the world. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to go for the Roosters. I'm sorry too. Um, I'm sorry too. They're gone. The I Cowboys. Think, I think they're gone. It's going to be a long season. Oh, what a game. The final game is the two teams with similar colours, the blue and golds, Titans versus the Parramatta Reels. What a game. This will be, this will be the nightcap. Yep. 
Interesting game. Both teams can score points. It might be a 52-50 game or something. I don't know. You know, what last up victory for both teams. That's that's unusual to say. Yep. Um look, uh, I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna, obviously I'm gonna go Parramatta because I've tr- I know what I'm gonna get from Parramatta week in, week out, and I know what I'm gonna get from Titans, but it's not gonna be a, a, a cakewalk. It's not gonna be a cakewalk. It's not gonna be like Newcastle rolling over. Uh it'll be a good game, I reckon. Yeah. But Parramatta will win. It's got they gotta win. They gotta win. You think? Well, yeah, they're stacked really. Well, in terms of, um, you know, their grand finals. So, anyway, Nicola? I mean, yeah, I'll tip for a matter because, you know, this is really a chance for them to get some momentum and come good. Um, on paper, they should win. The Gold Coast, they have been pretty good. Yeah. Um, I'd be pretty disappointed if Parramatta weren't able to win this game, though. Yeah. They'll probably put them in the eight if they win. Yeah, you think. close to it. Absolutely, for sure. Because it's strange not seeing Parramatta in the eight. It's strange yeah. not seeing Parramatta in the eight. From memory, Titans did a number on Parramatta last year, I think, when Parramatta, uh, early in the season, I think they beat them. Um, we, we saw them first game uh, last year and yeah, Parramatta last year. won. Or did Parramatta beat them? Yeah. We saw them first game, Nicola, last year, oh, wasn't it? Parramatta beat them both times last year. Oh, yeah. did they? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm, maybe I'm thinking of the Titans. Was I'm it? thinking the Roosters. The Roosters beat Parramatta. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I was got, got that. The, the first game we watched, it was just. Was the second game just? So is it always tight games between these two games? So it's always tight games, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So you you get the same thing. You'd think Parramatta should win this. If Parramatta want to be a force and show their colours that they're going to be there for the end of the season, they've got to win these ones, that's for sure. Yeah, and they will. And they will. I'm sure they and will. They will. The good thing is, it's magic round. It's going to be great coming through the television. Yeah. I can't wait. It'll be good. And is that Thursday night game? Is that only Friday, I think? Is yeah. that Thursday? No, that... Thursday. Yeah, it's just a Friday game. So it's it a Friday starts game. from Friday. Yeah, yeah. Double, double header. I mean, you've got three games and three good. games. Good. It gives it after last week and the week before, which was that we had a game on Tuesday, give us some day, t- time off. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I said that. Yeah. Always, I'm the one who wants games every, uh, every day. Um, sometimes it's just too much, bro. Yeah, I prefer just the three week, three days. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is enough for me. I don't, I don't think we need Thursday and Monday. Oh, Monday, you need Monday. You want Monday? <laughs> Monday, you need Monday because you need Monday. You need Monday. I don't know. You need Monday. <laughs> you got to have Monday. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> How do they do in the NFL? They play it every day. Every day. That's weird. You know what's even worse? You know the basketball in America because the time zones are so different, and there's fifty two teams or something. Okay, it's like basketball twenty four seven. <laughs> Seriously, there's there's a basketball every day, every every day there's games, and you can watch games at eleven o'clock, which is eight o'clock somewhere else. You know what I mean? Wow. Yeah, and they start again back the other the other night. So it's twenty four seven basketball. Seriously. Right. Anyway. It's amazing. Yeah. All righty, that wraps it up for this week. It's it's over. What are we looking forward to? Getting back to normal. Getting back to normal. Oh, no, the pod. Uh, this is so strange. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is so We're weird. Nick. We need Nick here leading the show. And, and you know what? It's really what hard, back, mate. It's really hard in terms <laughs> of, of the Skype, and I didn't think it would be that hard to listen and <laughs> yeah. everything. It's so hard. Yeah. So you're looking forward to being yeah, back to normal. Yeah, let's go back to normality next week. You yeah. know what I mean? The fearless leader driving the ship. So it's, yeah, it's strange. It's strange. It's just strange. Nick, what are you looking forward to? Next? Even last week was strange, actually. Yeah. But you know what? I think, you know what? Nicholas is talking. I'm just saying, it's no fun sitting here. I've been sitting here in this freaking spot all day. (laughs) (laughs) You you know what? I'll tell you something really freaky, uh, Nicola. You know how uh, uh, the Wonder Boy uh, pops his head in because we're always running uh, overs, okay? (laughs) He said that he's going to come in the hour, okay? He hasn't come yet. (laughs) So guess what? We're on time for once. He's going to be so happy to cut it up. Oh, well, he's going to be so rough. on fire. We're at about an hour now. Just about. <laughs> so it's strange. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting back to normal. I'm looking forward to um, to uh, Magic Round because the atmosphere is sensational. And you know what? I'm going to do this and sucked in both of you. I'm going to buy tickets for Magic Round next year and you've got, you can't, you can't not come. You can't not come. I'm just oh, going to go buy them. I'm going to go nah, buy them. Nah. I was in Brisbane a few months ago. Oh, yeah. I know. Uh, Adi, you probably weren't aware of this. Um, I was in Brisbane a few months ago. Yeah. And uh, me and me and, my, and Frankie, 
And uh, we were taking selfies with the Wally Lewis statue outside Suncorp back then. <laughs> and, like, um, one o'clock in the morning, sending them to George. <laughs> um, tell them about the the Caxton when you uh, went we, to the Caxton. We went, to, we went and hung out at the Caxton, had a few drinks at the Caxton. Oh wow! It was just a normal yeah. night, but it's um, you know, it's it's a it's a dingy little pub, but it's yeah. so much. Uh, it's like a little mini Queensland museum. Yeah. Just all the photos on the wall and all the memorabilia and everything. It's a pretty pretty surreal experience. I'd love to be there during Origin time, but I wouldn't be wearing a blue jumper. <laughs> I'd love to. Well, well, um, <laughs> is it a small pub, Nicola? It's it's not that big at all. Yeah, I mean how, it's how... spread out, but it's not. Um, it's not that big, and it's and it's literally a five minute walk down the street to Suncorp oh, Stadium. I was going to say it's really close. Very so close. That's why it's popular. Both through, yeah. I'm trying wow. to find the the pictures. I can't find it at the moment, but um. He sent me pictures and then the Caxton, and there was a live with uh, his mate, uh, Frankie. Yeah. And um, they're, they're, they're painting around, and on the on the wall, there's all these jerseys and photos. <laughs> and um, uh, I was jealous, I want to be there because yeah. you know what, you've heard so, so much about this, uh, about this pub. And, and every time I go there, I've never gone. I've, I went to the old Lang Park with timber slat seats, and I, and I sat on them and I got splinters. I actually got splinters, Nicola. Okay, then I went to the other one where they moved, where there was all scaffolding around. And every time they scored tries, Nicola, uh, they got a horse called Buck. And oh, he, would, yeah. he would go around the ground. Okay, well, I just happened that when Canary was playing Brisbane and we lost 56 or something. You know how many times I saw that bloody horse <laughs> around the thing? And and D D was with me. We went to um actually one a wedding, one of your one of your relatives' uh, wedding. Uh, who's got that pizza shop? I forget the name. Anyway. Anyway, and um, uh, Anna goes, why is the horse going around? What's that all about? I go, dude, stop. Don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. You know what I mean? That's when Jimmy Sedaris was playing hooker for us. You know what I mean? We got hammered that day. I'll never forget so, it. Brisbane's closing at the best of times. Um, Sorry? It's a great place. It's got a great social life here on the water and the bars and, and all that along the uh, Brisbane River there. Yeah. Um, so, I'll, yeah, it's a, it's a shame we didn't... Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to go this year anyway. I'm on nah. track. Yeah. Um, definitely, I'm gonna I'd like to go next year. Though. I'm going to buy tickets and sucked in. Both of you are going. I'm yeah. going to vlog it. I'm going to. We're going to. I'm going to vlog it. <laughs> you're going. I don't care. I know. I know you know. I know you don't want to go. You're going. You're going. Maybe we could do a pod from Brisbane. Yeah, we'll do a pod we'll, in the Caxton and Nicola. I'll take the Zoom. I'll take the little Zoom. We'll do a pod in the oh, wow. Bob. It's fun. It'll be fun. Yeah. We could. We can do a. We can do a, a thingy bob in the ground and we, I can reverse like my camera, do a vlog. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Let's do it. We won't go all three days because imagine watching. I love it. Three days of rugby league life. Yeah, um, you know, remember the sevens, uh, Nicola? And you started on Friday. You went Saturday and yeah, Sunday yeah. and they done the carp and this and that. Uh, I went with Flick uh, two years, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. You think I'd have enough, eh? No, no, no. I kept on going. <laughs> I didn't want it to end. Yeah. Would be good. I like that tournament. It was funny when, when the Tigers played the Panthers. Did they play for some cup? You know how some of these games there's always like a cup. No, yeah. that, that's a cup. When I because when I when I saw uh, Tim Sheen's press conference, they had the cup on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Nico loves silverware. He believes it doesn't matter what it is, silverware. They had the cup on the table. You know, it's pretty funny how you can win a trophy when you win one game a year. But yeah, they did it. <laughs> they did it. They did it. Talking <laughs> about a cup, um, it was um, naive of me not to talk uh, about uh, the St. Helens. You didn't talk about not the about St. Helens because they had a week off. Nicola, the the Super League uh, had a break for uh, the Challenge Cup, which is their their FA Cup, uh, Nicola. So I'm not going to get into the FA Cup until or the Challenge Cup until the final, the final semi-finals start. Um, uh, so we'll be back onto Super League and all the tidbits next week. We'll go back to normality because this was this was a pretty quick show actually. Uh, but um, I want to talk about uh, the the uh, the Sharks game versus the Cowboys. Um, they honoured um, Greeny Greeny oh, yeah, again Green. after a, after a year Nicola. Um, the whole family was uh, was there. Um, Nico got the the green the greeny medal, and he gave it 
to the to the fa- to back to the family, uh, Nicola. But um, right. you know what? They, they've done a they've done, they've played for a cup as well. Um, they they've done a great job to to honor his memory, and um, I just because it's something close to my heart, mental health. Um, I just want to mention it for for the mental health. And if anyone's got issues, get uh, or see something that something's wrong, or someone next to them, next to them, there's there's, there's something funny about them. Please um, tap them on the shoulder and and have a chat to them. But um, it was really done. Real, it was done really well, Nicola. And um, it's going to be done every year now. Um, and and I, look, I can't speak. Uh, enough for Cronulla and North Queensland for doing that. Um, he's uh, really played for both clubs, and and he won a, a, as a coach uh, a comp for um, the North Queensland, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. He played so, for, um, for a few clubs, uh, yeah. yeah. Roosters. Played for Para as well. Para. Yeah. Dennis is in a Para. Yeah. yeah. It, uh, so you know, it's funny. I um. I just tried to share my screen with you, but I can't because it's disabled. So tell me if you can see this. Oh, yes. Yeah, there, <laughs> it is. there it is. <laughs> is that brilliant or what? Yeah, I love it. That's it. See? What? Did they promise some silverware? I love how they, I love how they put a front and center in the brief. <laughs> Mate, silverware. Silverware. Is it honoring Sheens? Did Sheens play for Penrith? And- no, no. no. Oh, I don't know what it was for. Yeah, it's- one of those ones that we're all doing, and the Bulldogs and the Eagles are playing for some cup. We play Bandage Your Bear Cup, don't we? We play yeah, for the Bandage Your Bear Cup. We play my Bandage Your Bear Cup. I've never, seen, I've never seen anyone have it in the press conference. <laughs> never, um, never. Hey, they've, got, they've got to do something to show something yeah. to, the, to, the, to their I people. I had a front and centre. It was brilliant. You win, a, you win one game a year, you win a trophy. <laughs> Uh, apparently they've got a showcase at the colleagues club now you can go and touch it and you can no nah, it's not that popular is it maybe it may be. <laughs> may be. take photos it's with it all the fans taking photos. taking photos there you go you can get photos with the trophy oh love it love it we're going to celebrate it why not uh, alright guys we done thanks, it. thanks for joining uh, enjoy your rugby league enjoy magic round and hope you can join us next week. Happy rugby happy league, rugby everybody, league, everybody. And, and next week back to normality. Thanks, Thanks God. God. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Cheers. Bye. Bye.